Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Leviticus chapter 2. Now we talk about chapter 1, we talked about the uh, burnt offering, burnt sacrifice. And when they all will offer a meat offering, now we're looking at the meat offering. It's never called a meal offering. Some Bibles make that note, some Bibles make that change. It's a meat offering. They don't understand what meat is. Meat's not always from animal. It's also food. Offer unto the Lord, Jehovah. His offering shall be of fine flour, and you shall pour oil upon it, and put frankincense thereof. Now the flour and the oil is substance of man and his labor. But it all comes from God. Without God, we can't grow nothing. But man has to grow the wheat for the flour. He has to grow the olives for the oil. So what he's doing is he's bringing to God what God has given him. And he's assuring by testimony that God, you've given me this. And not only have you given us the, the olives and you've given us the wheat, the barley, whatever it be, but you've given me the knowledge on how to do it. See, they're not saying Mother Nature. They're not saying evolution. They're marking God and marking, not mocking, marking God as a creator. And he shall bring to Aaron's sons the priest. And he shall take there out his handful of the flour thereof. So reach in there and grab a handful. And the oil thereof with all the frankincense thereof. All prayer. Frankincense is incense. Prayer. Give it all your prayer. Give a little handful of what you've done and what God's given you, but give it all prayer. And the priest shall burn the memorial, help you remember, of it upon the altar, the brazen altar, to be an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. So this one's a sweet savor to God. Smells good. Uh, and the remnant, what's ever left over of the meat offering, shall be Aaron's and his sons. So whatever is left over when they offer this, and you read later on, it's written in the epistles that the priests live by the offerings. Well, here's an offering. We're going to throw some of it on the fire. And the rest of it is for Aaron and the priests, their family. Shall be Aaron's and his sons. It's a thing most holy. Now, here is holy the first time in the book of Leviticus. And this will be the theme of Leviticus. Being righteous. And we see it with the first offering of the meat offering. And that it part of is given to the priest for eating, for selling, for trading, whatever they do with it. It's holy offering of the Lord made by fire. Again, it's never the meal offering. And if thou bring an oblation, an offering to God, of a meat offering, now, we're gonna, now remember before we looked at 
herds, flocks, and uh, follows. Well, here we go now. Number one, bacon in the oven. First utensil, oven. If this meat offering has been baking inside of an oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, unleavened wafers anointed with oil. So you're to make cakes if it's to be in the oven. No leaven at all. Now you see how sure God is? You see how God is in his ways? It's a free will offering, but God has a way. You have a free will to choose Jesus Christ, but your eternal life is based upon Jesus Christ. So here's the oven. Verse 5. If that oblation, the offering to God, be a meat offering, baking in a pan. Number 2, a pan. It's not made in the oven. It shall be of fine flour, unleavened, mingled with oil. Again, mingle with, you just put a little oil in it. Thou shalt part it in pieces. And you've done that with a pan with chicken. You don't put the chicken together. You got, you know, a little piece here, a little piece there, a little piece there. You don't bake it as unity. You separate it. You divide it. Thou shalt part it in pieces and pour oil thereon. It's a meat offering. And thou oblation, giving offering to God, be a meat offering, baking in a frying pan. Number three. It shall be made of fine flour with oil. So you got oven, you got pan, you got frying pan. No pots. No bowl. And thou shalt bring the meat offering that is made of thee, that made of these things unto the Lord. When it is presented unto the priest, he shall bring it unto the altar. And the priest shall take from the meat offering a memorial thereof, and shall burn it upon the altar. It's an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto the Lord. We've already read this previous. Verse 2. And that which is left of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. We already just read that. Verily, verily, this is important. When Jesus said, verily, verily, when something is repeated twice or more, it's important. Get it. Repetition. Shall burn it upon the altar. It's an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And that which is left of the meat offering shall be Aaron's and his sons. It's a thing most holy of all of all the yeah, of the offerings of the Lord made by fire. So this one goes to the priests. Now when we did the the burnt offerings, that didn't go to the priests. What was left up? It was all burnt. Remember, they, you cut it up and you put it on the fire. You put it on the wood. Here, what's ever left over, the priests get it. No meat offering, which ye shall bring unto the Lord, shall be made with leaven. Absolutely no leaven. You'll see Matthew 13, 33 in that one, and Leviticus 7, 13, when we get to that one. It pictures unclean doctrine. When the children came out of Israel, they had no leaven for their for their dough. Leaven is something that you add to God that God don't want you to put in there. It's religion. That's what what's what leaven is. Don't you add no religion to this meal. For you shall burn no leaven, nor any honey. That's interesting. Honey. Honey can be possibly made into fermentation for alcohol. Honey can actually be turned into alcohol. Honey, when you burn something, it'll burn. God says no honey. And yet the Bible speaks of honey as something that's good for you. If you don't eat too much of it, according to Proverbs. You, you eat too much of it, you're going to throw it up. Let him be turned into alcohol. So God is. What you're going to give to the priest. 
Make sure they can't turn it into alcohol. Hooch, booze. How's that? How's that for a verse that, about alcoholism? You know, Revelation 1, aren't we called priests? No booze. Don't make booze. Today, another big thing today has come up in the last few years is you can make beer in your own home. You can go to stores and buy what you need to make. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You know what beer is? You know what alcohol is? It's when yeast, yeast poops. It defecates. That's what beer is and alcohol. Yeast poop. As for the oblation and offering to God for the first fruits. Now this is when you plant your crops, that first fruits you get, that's first fruits. That's God's. You look at those plants and those tomato plants, you're just waiting. Oh, man, can't wait to turn red. And you grab that first one, that's God's. The whole harvest, the first harvest is God. And it will picture the first fruits with Christ. Those are the Old Testaments that came up with God, with Jesus. He shall offer them unto the Lord, Jehovah. But they shall not be burnt on the altar for a sweet savor. So whatever that guy has planted, whatever he picks and brings, you don't put that on the altar. In every oblation which you offer to God of thy meat offering, shall thou season with salt. See that with Numbers 18, 19, Mark 9, 49, and 50. In Colossians 4, 6, Matthew 5, 13, and Luke 14, 54. Now watch what God says about Saul. Neither shall thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God be lacking from the meat offering. That's what we've just been talking about. Put the salt on it. You are the salt of the earth. Be a salty preacher. Salt cleanses. Salt purifies. You preach with salt, people are not going to like you. Don't preach with honey. Don't be a diabetic church. Be salt. Lacking for the meat offering. With all thy offerings thou shalt offer salt. And if. Conditional. Conditional. If thou offer a meat offering of thy first fruits unto the Lord Jehovah, thou shalt offer for the meat offering of thy first fruits green ears of corn, dried, Psalms 22, verse 15, by the fire, even corn beaten, Christ was beaten, out the full years. Without blemish. And you'll see this in John 12 20 and Romans 12 1. And again, this is not corn on the cob, this is the wheat. And thou shalt put oil upon it and lay frankincense thereon. It is a meat offering. Now, you see why people get trouble with that? Well, that's corn. That's not meat. Yes, it is. Meat is one of them words that it goes two, three, fourfold. Meat doesn't always mean it comes from an animal. And you'll see that throughout the Bible. And this is where it first comes the problem. Oh, it's not really meat because you've got vegetation. It's a meal. No, it's not meal. You're wrong and the Bible's right. And the priest shall burn the memorial of it. Part of the beaten corn thereof, and part of the oil thereof, with all the frankincense thereof, is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So now we got the second offering. We've had the burnt offering, now we're going to get to the meat offering, and we'll move into another offering and more offerings as we go on, Lord willing. This is what the Jews had to do. You have to do it the right time. You have to do it the right way. Aren't you glad you're under grace? What if you forgot the oil? What if you forgot the frankincense? What if a little leaven got in there somehow? What if your, your neighbor hated you come in and sprinkle a little leaven on your offering? You know? 
What if somebody had it in for you? What if you miss something? What if you didn't do it right? Put it under Jesus, all through Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, and you got it settled. When you die, you'll be absent from the body, present with the Lord, you'll go to Abraham's bosom. 